In this video, we're going to look at our always on settings we have for our Apple Watch. What do I mean by always on? Well, what we can do is we can have our display on our Apple Watch always be on even if the wrist is turned away. Now, this does not work on all Apple Watches. So if you have an older Apple Watch, what will happen is this display will turn off and then when you bring it back up to your face, it'll turn on. But if you have a newer Apple Watch, that display will always be on. Well, what you can do is you can turn that off to where it will turn off when you turn it away like the older Apple Watches. Or what you can do is you can have a little more granular control and you can set which complications are shown when the Apple Watch is turned away, which applications are shown when the Apple Watch is turned away, or which notifications are shown when the Apple Watch is turned away. By default, when it's always on, all of those are always shown. All of your complications are shown. All of your notifications are shown. All of your applications, all of your apps are shown when you turn the wrist away. Well, what you can do is you can set which ones you want to see when you turn your wrist away. We can do this on both the Apple Watch and we can do this in the Watch app on the iPhone. And again, you do need to have a newer Apple Watch for this to work, one that is always on. Let's first see how we do this on the Apple Watch. Then we'll go over to the Watch app on the iPhone. Let's go to my Apple Watch. So I'm looking at my Apple Watch here and the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to our settings. So how do we get to our settings app? Well, basically what we do is we just press in on the digital crown to the right of my pointer. When I press in on that digital crown, I have a list of all my apps. Now, if you have your apps in an icon view or grid view, I've mentioned this in other videos, what you need to do is just long press on the display. And when you long press on it, you get an option to change it from grid view into my favorite view, list view. So now I'm going to go back. To go back, I just need to cancel this. From here, what I need to do is go to my settings app. So I can just swipe up or I can use the digital crown to scroll up. So I have my settings app here. Now what I need to do is just tap on this and it opens up. From here, what we need to do is swipe up or scroll up until you see display and brightness. Under display and brightness, we have an option for always on. And again, if you have an older watch that is not always on, you will not see this setting. So what options do we have with this? Well, let's go ahead and tap on it. And our first option here is, do we want to have it always on at all? If I turn this off, basically what's going to happen is when I move my wrist away from my face like this, what it's going to do is it's going to turn off. And then I bring it back up the display will turn back on. It's gonna be like the behavior of the older Apple Watches. If you like that behavior, all you have to do is just tap on the slider to turn it off. If you like that behavior, I like that behavior, I like to leave it always on so I can glance at my Apple Watch no matter what angle it's at, but maybe what you'd like to do is limit what data is shown. Well, what we're able to do is set which complications show which notifications show and which apps show when we move our wrist away from us. So if you did not want to have a specific complication show when you turn your wrist away from you, what you can do is you can turn off a specific complication. You can do the same thing with notifications. What you're able to do is set when your wrist is turned away from you, which apps can send notifications or which apps will display notifications. And same thing with apps. If you're in a specific app and you turn your wrist away from you, do you want that app to stay on? What you can do is you can turn a specific app off. To do that, to change any of these settings, all you have to do is just tap on it. Let's go over to complication data. I just tap on it. And then from here, I can set if I want to show any complication data at all. And if I do, I can also set which complications I want to see. Again, this is when your wrist is turned away from you. So everything is going to be on, which means that by default, when I turn my wrist away from me, all of my complications are going to show. And then I can turn them off individually here. Same thing, let's go back up to our blue show complications here. And I'm going to go back. 
I tap on the little arrow here. What I'm also able to do is do the same thing with notifications. Tap on this. If I do not want to see any notifications when I turn my wrist away from me, all I have to do is just turn the slider off. Or what I can do is I can set which notifications I want to receive when I turn my wrist away from me. We have the same thing with, I'm going to go back here. We have the same thing with apps. When I am in a specific app, do I want it to show that app when my wrist is turned away? And I can also set which apps I want to show when my wrist is turned away. By default, they're all going to be on. So that's how we set it up on the Apple Watch. What about the iPhone? We can also change the settings on the iPhone itself. Let's go over to my iPhone. So I'm on my iPhone here and I'm in the Watch app. If we go to the lower left hand corner, you're going to see my watch. We need to make sure that we're looking at my watch settings. From here, what we do is we go over to display and brightness. Under display and brightness, you're going to see we have always on. And again, you do need to have an Apple Watch with always on. I tap on it and you're going to see the same settings, but it might be a little easier to set up on the watch app. I can turn this off by tapping on the green slider. Or what I can do is set what happens when I put my wrist down? Which complications do I want to see when my wrist is turned away from me? Which apps do I want to see? Or which notifications? Do I want to see any of them? Again, I can go to apps and I can turn off all of my apps. Or I can just set which apps I want to see when my wrist is turned away from me. I can do the same thing with complications and with notifications. So that's how we set if we want to have our display on our Apple Watch always on, and which data is shown when we turn our wrist away from us. We can do this on both the Apple Watch, and we can do this in the Watch app on the iPhone. On the Apple Watch, we just go to Settings, and then Display and Brightness, and Always On. In the Watch app, we just need to make sure we're looking at My Watch, and then again, we go to Display and Settings. From there, you can set your Always On settings. So that's how we can set if we want to have our display on our Apple Watch always on and which complications, applications, and notifications are shown when we turn our wrist away when the Apple Watch is always on.